Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Rodrigo. Good evening, Mr. Carlos. Good evening, Jenny. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are, How are, you? are you? How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. And you? I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, great, Mister. That's good. Thank you for sharing. I finished my mid midterm. Oh, great, Mister. That's good. Good. I love it. Yes. Okay. It's I very hope... difficult. Really? Sí, estuvo difícil. Really? I'm sorry. No sé, lo sentí más difícil que los de los anteriores. Really? Yes. I didn't see it. No lo he visto aún. No, um... pero sí, ya, ya, cien por ciento. Excellent, Mr. Today I'm going to check. Ahora pues sí voy a chequear. Entonces ahí vamos a ver cuántos, how many of you have it finished. So yeah. Let's okay. see. So yes, thank you for finishing though. Gracias por terminarlo, Mr. I really appreciate that because it's very important. Como les decía, es muy, muy importante para hacerlo. Estuve a punto de pedirle ayuda. No, ah, don't worry, you can do it. No, se impo no importa. Usted puede hacerlo. Ya les, ha, ya les he dicho, sí. Ustedes me pueden escribir ahí en WhatsApp. You can do it. Don't worry. Estoy a punto de darme por vencido. Ya, pero no. Yeah, I know. It's difficult. Connect when you have internet connection. Connection. Hello, Miss Blanca. Welcome. Good evening, Miss. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you, Miss? Good evening, good evening. Let's wait one more minute, okay? Maybe the rest joins. Hello, Kim was no. Ah, hello, Mr. David. Welcome. What? Everybody's going to be oyente. Remember that participation is very important too. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, David. Welcome. Thank you. Teacher, voy, voy de camino todavía, pero aquí ya me conecté. Nomás llegué a la, a la casa, ya, ya activo todo. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Mr. for letting me know. No se preocupe. Gracias por, por dejarme saber. I didn't know. But thank you, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we're about to start. Okay, so um, so let's go ahead and start with this one. Just give me one second.
Okay, so let's go with uh, good evening one more time. So today, uh, as you know, it's English. Well, we are going to continue with English for Work Program Basic Model Number Three. My name one more time is Lisa Rosmen Alvarado Martinez, and today it is Friday, December second, two thousand twenty-two. And uh, well, today we are going to finish with unit number two, and else in also the section number two of the. A platform right and today's class we are going to um, practice a little bit of vocabulary and grammar that we have been studying during the week el día de ahora vamos a practicar y vamos a, a repasar el vocabulario y la gramática que hemos estado estudiando durante toda la semana okay so it will be very very important okay and yes, and something else, another topic that I have for you today, okay? And uh, let's start with this first activity. This first activity, it's called worries. What happens with worries? Worries, it's, it would be, hello, Mr. Carlos, welcome. Hello. Good evening. Thanks. How Good are evening. you, Mr. How are you, Mr.? Uh, Good. Okay, great, great. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. And then? And me? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay, so this next activity, the first activity that we have, es la primera actividad que vamos a hacer, it's called word race. Word race, why? ¿Por qué se llama word race? Porque yo les voy a mostrar una... Um, how can I say, a word, una categoría, okay? And you have to make a list. Y ustedes van a empezar a hacer una lista del tema que yo les ponga ahí o la categoría que les ponga por ahí, okay? And so you are going to uh, do that on WhatsApp. Y lo van a hacer eso, escribir la lista de las cosas que les voy a mostrar, de la categoría que les voy a mostrar, la van a escribir ahí en WhatsApp. Y la van a enviar hasta que yo les diga sent. Okay, hasta que yo les, les diga eso de sent, ustedes la van a enviar. Welcome, Mr. Julio. Welcome, Rebecca. Welcome, Miss Clelia. Thank you. Hello. Okay, so let's start with the first category. The first category, it will be family members. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, and go. Empiezan a escribir la lista en WhatsApp, remember, okay? It's like that, like the girl on the gift, you have to write it down. Tienen que escribir la lista, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Write a list. Nadie está escribiendo nada en el grupo de WhatsApp. Nobody. Ah, oh, ahora sí, ahí me parece. No, pero tiene que ser una lista. Tiene que ser la lista. Ok, send, 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 send. Ok, you have to send the list. No, pero era de... Ah, ok. ¿Y what happened to Carlos Argueta? He was family members. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Very good, Rodrigo. I don't know who is Delgado, but very good. Ah, Mr. Julio, I think. Very good. Very good, Carlos Miguel, I think. Very good, Miss Kelly, I don't know who you are. Okay, very good, Mr. Rodrigo, I just saw it. Excellent. Okay. ¿Y qué más está escribiendo? Aha, uh -huh. very good, Mr. Carlos. Okay, let's go next category. Next category, it would be colors. Okay, recuerden hacer la lista primero. Do the list. Very good, Miss Jenny. It's perfect. Do the list. Okay. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, sent, 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 because I didn't put the, the timer. I forgot to. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Nice. You have three, six, seven, eight. Wow. Miss Delgado, very good. Very good, Miss Jenny. Awesome. Very good, Mr. Carlos. Very good, Miss Kelly. Scarlet. What color is Scarlet? It's my first time listening to Scarlet. It's como rojo. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know about that. Thank you. Yes. No sabía ese color, but now I know. Sí. Yeah. Something new to learn every day. Cada día, como les decía, cada día se aprende algo nuevo. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Yellow, double L, Mr. Rodrigo, but very good. And Adriana, very good. Excellent, you guys. Okay, let's go. Next one. The next word in the race category will be professions. Okay, let's go. Right, 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 right. Almost time. Okay, three, two, one, send everybody. Send, 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 send the words, everybody. Wow, mm, very good, Delgado, thank you. Let's see, teacher, doctor. I send my movie. Accountant engineer with, with E. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Very good. Why so little? Today we are going to review the also the um, the profession. So that will be good. Engineer. Vamos a corregir engineer, everybody. So engineer. Okay. Okay, very good, Adriana, thank you. Okay, let's go with the last uh, category. In the last category, it would be objects, any object, okay? Any objects you're going to write at the count of five, four, three, two, one, and go. Let's go. Write objects, objects that you remember, okay? Cualquier objeto, anything, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, cent, everybody sent. Wow, very good, Miss Adriana. Thank you. Let's see it. Microwave. My micro. Very good. Antenna. <laughs> uh, cooking pot. Okay. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Block. What is block, Mr. Carlos Argueta? Un bloque? Un block de construcción. Ah, okay, okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Mr. Julio. Very good, Mr. Rodrigo, too. Wow, excellent job, you guys. 
in a pencil. I don't know who is the pencil, but okay, good. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, so let's go. And now, very good job so far with this one, okay? Muy bien hecho hasta el momento con esto, okay? Let's go ahead with the next activity, okay? Because that was a little bit of practice for vocabulary. Eso era un poquito de práctica con el vocabulary. But before we go with that, I'm gonna do attendance section. Voy a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente, okay, everybody? Are you ready? Okay, so let's go, Adriana Gabriela. Presente. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Presente, teacher. Thank you, very good. Christian Alexander. Claudia Maria? Clelia Estela? Present. Thank you. David Emanuel? Present, teacher. Thank you. Tiana Noemi? Edwin Roberto? Give me one second. Okay, Jenny Carolina? I think, yes, okay, no problem. Eh, Jorge Luis, not here, okay. Christian, I just mentioned you. Okay, eh, Jose Dimas, Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Mm, we have Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín. Maria Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Marlene Oneida. Juan Ezequiel. Okay, thank you everybody for doing the attendance section with me. Okay, now let's go and continue. And the next activity that I have for you, okay, we are going to review a little bit about yesterday's class. Okay, vamos a repasar un poco acerca de la clase de ayer y también vamos a repasar los verbos que se recuerden que se tenían que aprender otros cinco verbos. Hmm, so let's see if you have learned them. Vamos a ver si se recuerdan y si se los han aprendido. Okay, but this activity is called charades. Okay, charades, it's about basically how you can see in there in the in the picture, como pueden ver ahí en la, en la imagen, pues van a ser la mímica, okay, de una oración o de un verbo en ese caso, okay. And the rest of the class y el resto de la clase debe adivinar cuál es la palabra o la oración, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and some of you, solo algunos van a participar para que el resto adivine, okay? Let's start with Mr. Carlos Miguel. Thank you, Mr. Per <laughs> for doing this activity with me, okay? So okay. this is this is the sentence, Mr. Wait, así se le envío acá en el chat of, of Zoom. Okay. okay, there you have it. Let's see. Next one is going to be Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> thank you, Mr. <laughs> okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, there you have it. Tienen que hacer la mímica, okay? And then, Miss, I want a girl to help me. Can you help me, please, Blanca? Okay, Miss Blanca is going to be, okay? And, okay. Give me one second, Miss Blanca. Okay, so you ready, Carlos Miguel? Te voy a mute, te voy a mute. Tienes que solo hacer la mímica con tus manos o you can speak o puedes hablar, okay? Pero que sin con mi micrófono ahí me a mute. <laughs> okay, let's practice, mister. Let's do it. Okay. No, mister. Te voy a mute. Te voy a mute. Ajá, ajá. Right now, yes. Ahora sí. Okay. Okay. Look, everybody. ¿Cuál es ese? ¿Cuál es ese sujeto? Es una oración, by the way. Ay. 
Ajá, ay, ajá, vamos bien. Walk. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Wrong. <laughs> Go. ¿Qué? No, pero en past. Went. Ajá, ajá. Very good. Wow. Yo no lo veo, teacher. Really? Oh, wait a second. ¿En now y ahora? No. No. Es que, es que está en otra pantalla quizás, por eso no lo ves. Mueve la, así las, las, estás en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Entonces mueve así para un lado y vas a verlo. Ahorita. Ok. Ajá. Capital. Ajá. <risa> Capital of El Salvador. Ajá. I went to El Salvador. Yes, very good, awesome. <risa> yes, I went to San Salvador. Okay, let's go, Mr. Rodrigo, you're next. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Tell uh, me. I can use object. Uh, Yes, yes, you can use an object. Okay. Okay. You can use it. Okay, everybody, look. I play. Mm -hmm. But in past, right? Play. Uh huh. But it's not I, it's not I, it's no, ya no es I. Yo solo con uno había puesto I. What would be? They play football, soccer. Casi, casi, casi. He, he play? No, no, no he. Caminar. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Play soccer. ¿Ah? They play soccer. No, 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 no. Is the subject he, for, for girl, for girl. She. Ajá, uh -huh, she, and then? Play soccer. Play soccer. Yes, very good, excellent job, everybody. Thank you. Okay, let's go now with Miss Blanca. Remember that it, that was in past, right? Okay, Miss Blanca. Miss Blanca's sentence is very easy. So let's go. Y después I want another girl. Mm -hmm. Miss. Okay. Okay, look at Miss Blanca. Ahora sí se repite. I'm sorry, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, everybody, what do you think? I, I uh -huh. work. Yes, I work. yes, awesome. That was fast. Wow, eso sí fue fácil y rápido. Wow, okay. Let's go. Miss Rebecca, can you help me with one more? Me ayudas tú, Miss Rebecca, con una oración más? Vas a hacer la mímica only, okay? Okay, let's go. I'm going to send you the sentence, okay? Ya te envío la oración. Okay, that is Miss Rebecca. There you have it. There you have it on the chat. Ahí lo tienes en el chat. Okay, ya está haciendo. What do you think it is? He read. No. Read the book. He is speaking. He speak. Read the book. Uh, no. What is the first is the subject. Remember, it's a sentence, okay? Book. No. He write. They. Uh -huh. They. Uh -huh. They. 
uh, right, road, mm -hmm. all right, road, no, uh, really, no, <laughs> road, road, speak, yes. they, <laughs> Se ríe de nosotros, mira. Aquí. No, 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 she's trying to kiss. Se está tratando. No. Bye, Ajá. Uh -huh. Study. Uh -huh. Listen, study. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. They study. They study in speaking English. No. Speak. English. They, they, no. study. they study. Yes, English. yes, very good. They study English. Exactly, very good. Excellent, good job. And I hope you have continued learning the verbs, okay? Because remember that the verbs are very important. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Ahora sí, vamos a continuar. Thank you, everybody, for helping me doing the activity. Gracias a todos por que me ayudaron a hacer vea, eh, la actividad. And then just to practice a little bit of the verbs, okay? Now, to start, first of all, I am going to explain uh, what is the difference between personal and personnel. Personal, okay, it's individual, okay? when we are talking about one person, okay? Eh, personal, se, de, se, se define a una sola persona. And when we say personnel, okay, we are talking about the stop. We are talking about a group, okay? Cuando decimos personnel es cuando es la palabra en plural, okay? De personal. Y miren, cambia un poquito si se fijan. Y se refiere a un grupo de personas, okay? That would be personnel and personnel, okay? Then, um, we are, right now, we are going to go, I don't know where I have that, but okay. So, we are going to go to the manual, okay? And in the manual, in page 20, wait a second. Oh my goodness, what happened to my manual? To page 18, okay? And we are going to study there. Give me one second because something happened to my manual. Oh no, oh yes, okay. So last class, okay, we already studied this. Remember the, this week we study the, no, last week we studied the infinitives, right? And we didn't finish this activity y no terminamos esta actividad. And we have there, y aquí pues teníamos también la diferencia entre personnel and personal. And um, here we have some like sentences that we have to complete. Y aquí teníamos algunas frases que teníamos que completar con personnel o personal. Like for example, number one, what do you think is the correct word? We response responsible for the personnel or personal? What do you think it could be the correct word there? Mm -hmm. Personal. 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 Personal? No. Because look, it's personnel. I'm gonna tell you why. It's personnel. Dice acá, who is responsible for the personnel? ¿Por qué sería personnel? Porque dice, ¿quién está a cargo del staff, okay, de un grupo. Mm, uh -huh. okay. So that's why it would be a personnel. Number two, does the marketing manager have a personal, personal. A personal. personal. Ahí sí sería personal. ¿Por qué? Mire, hay algo eh, que siempre define a los singulares o a solo una persona y es esto, miren, lo de la A, ¿se acuerdan? Que eh, lo estudiaron en módulo 1, que cuando estamos hablando de una sola persona o de un solo objeto, para singular utilizamos A y AN. Entonces aquí como solo está hablando de una sola persona es a personal assistant. Number three, it's necessary to train more. 
Personnel. Personnel. Person. Uh -huh. Personnel for the high season. Very good. Porque estamos hablando de un grupo. Right? Number four. Please do not bring your personal. Personal. Uh -huh. Personal problems. One, right? One person. And number five. The personnel. Personnel. Personnel of the workshop need new on uniform, sorry. Uh, yes, very good. Again, we were talking about a group. Ahí, pues, muy bien. En la número cinco, estábamos hablando de un grupo. Uh, so, very, very good. So, do we have any questions so far with this one? Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta con this one? When do we use personnel? A volunteer to tell me when do we use personnel? Remembers. Volunteer to tell me. Personnel. We use personnel when, when we talking about mm -hmm. stuff. Stuff, very good. And personnel? When do we use personnel? Uh, one person. Ex for only one person exactly for only one person very very good okay now let's go ahead and today eso era solo para que recordáramos acerca de personal and personnel now with this topic we are going to review the occupations can you mention to me some occupations that you remember occupations or professions that you want to tell me and remember to me please Occupations. Mm -hmm. Lawyer, doctor, ah. teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nurse. Mechanic. Mechanic. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh -huh. Fireman. Maybe sailor. Mm -hmm. I think here. Lumer. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Sure. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. Singer. Singer. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Police. I'm sorry. Police, policía. Police, ajá, uh -huh, police, police. man, ajá, uh -huh, police, man, ajá. Uh -huh. Pilot. Pilot, very good. Manager. Manager, awesome. Okay, so very good with that. So also, right, in the personnel, in a company, they have many different occupations, right? In el personal de una compañía, pues tienen no solo de una, de una branch right they have maybe secretaries they have uh, managers they have accountants they have engineers okay there are many occupations that you can have in one company right so right now we are going to see some definitions and you're going to tell me what are the occupations okay vamos en este caso yo sé que ustedes ya se saben un montón de ocupaciones pero aquí vamos a practicarlo que ustedes van a ver la definición y ustedes me van a decir cuál es la occupation okay let's start with this one and it says the definition for occupations okay eh, a, the job done for earning livelihood okay the, the definition for occupation La definición para ocupaciones, y recuerden que es este, pues un trabajo que se realiza para, para tener ganancias, ¿verdad? And there are different kind of jobs y hay diferentes tipos. And here we have some of them. And right now we are going to review them. The first one, can you help me? Everybody is going to help me to read today. Okay, todos vamos a leer el día de ahora. So let's start with Miss Ana Marleni. Can you help me with the definition for dentist, please? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. A dentist treats teeth and gum problems. Very good, right? Teeth and gum. Gum, it means en silla, okay? Okay. Uh -huh, excellent. Let's go next one. Después le voy a preguntar the definitions. Next one, Miss Blanca. Uh, police, uh, policeman. Maintains. Maintains law and order. Very good, policeman. Law and order, right? Law, leyes, and order is orden, verdad? This one, help me please, Carlos Argueta. Doctor treats parents 
treats patients. Excellent, Mr. Treat, trata, vea, o ayuda a pacientes. Then we have, thank you, Mr. Let's go, Carlos Miguel. Farmer. A farmer grows crops. Crops, right? Grows. Okay, crece o cultiva. Crops, it would be uh, como, oh my goodness. Uh, it would be like the lotes and all of that. Wait. Oh, corn. Corn, exactly. A todos esos, todo lo que se cultiva, okay, let's, uh, it would be crops, cultivos, okay. Como sembrar, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. como siembra, la siembra, okay. Hay otra palabra, pero I don't remember right now. Hay una palabra que dice music, ya la he escuchado a los, a los farmers. Wait. Cosechar. No, parte de cosechar hay otra que dice. Cultivar. Cultivar, cosechar. Well, it's a farmer, it's cosecha, cultiva, okay. Things. Aventar semillas. Fertilizar. Mm -hmm. Fertilizar. <laughs> All of that, exactly, very good. All of that, it's for the crops, right? Todo eso que me está mencionando es para las crops, que sería para el cultivo. That they have every, every month or every year, right? Next one, can you help me to read, please? Uy, sorry, with this one. The, um, please, Christian, please, mister. Okay, let's go, Claudia. Okay, let's go, David and Manuel. Please, mister. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Jude. Who Josh. Pres Josh. Mm -hmm. Who presides pres uh -huh, over a code of law, uh -huh. either alone or as part of a panel of Judge. Judges. 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 Right. And judges or judge. Cuando solo uno es judge. Y cuando judge. son varios, judges. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good, mm -hmm. right? So it's in a court. Court, it would be corte, right? Corte de ley. Puede que sea solo, dice, o as a part of a panel of judges. O como parte de un um, grupo de panel de jueces. Next one, can you help me to read this one, please, Rodrigo? Okay, waiter. Mm -hmm. uh, who work at a restaurant or a bar attending customers? Exactly, right? Attends customers, right? A los clientes. Very good, Mr. Thank you. Let's go next one, Clelia. Uh, teacher. Person who provides calling for pupils and students. Exactly. Very good. So, right, it, it provides like um, classes, okay? Uh, so, you know, for the estudiantes or maybe the person that are doing like, um, y también es provee estudios a las personas que hacen like prácticas, okay? Let's go next one. Help me, please, Jorge Luis. Was work consists of a secretary. Mm -hmm. Was work consists of maintaining files, mm -hmm. operating telephones, typing of letters, and other clerical functions. Exactly, right. Very good. So basically, you know, uh, secretary maintain file, mantiene los eh, documentos, okay? The cell phone, right? Answers phone calls and types letters de este como ingresa o digita, digita cartas y otras funciones, okay? Let's go next one. Help me, eh, Julio. Mr. Julio. A nurse takes care of the patient. Exactly. It's similar to the doctor, right? 
Very good. Let's go, um, Maria Jamilet. Okay, Marlene One Oneida. What happened? Okay, Rebecca, Miss Rebecca, please hear me with this one. Um, uh, fireman? Yeah, fireman. Very good. Fireman, but of the fire. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Puts off the fire, right? Apaga el fuego, obviously. <laughs> yes, very good. Volunteer to help me with next one, please. A cook. Prepare the food. Exactly. Remember, prepares the food. Excellent. Next one. Volunteer. Carpenter makes and repairs wooden objects such as chair, table, doors, ATC. Etc. Or ATC. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Right. Then we have next one. Volunteer to help me to read. Gardener. Mm -hmm. A gardener takes care of plants in a garden or a nursery. Nursery, very good, right? Gardener is el que cuida las plantas, okay? Or in a vivero, okay? Next one, volunteer. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Zookeeper. Mm -hmm. A zookeeper take care, care of mm -hmm. the animal in the zoo. Mm -hmm. Very good, right? Su keeper o cuidador del zoológico. Cuida de los animales en el zoológico. Very good. Next one. Just one volunteer, please. A Taylor. Uh -huh. Taylor, This yes. Taylor. A uh -huh. Taylor is. Stitches, uh -huh. exactly, stitches, stitches, clothes, stitches, clothes, es cose, pues ropa, vea. Ese puede ser costurera o sastre. Next one. Modista. Ah, uh -huh, modista too, very good. Mr. Julio, I saw you, one more time, tell me here. An astronaut, traveling the world in the spacecraft. Exactly, right, in a spacecraft, viaja. Eh, y trabaja en una nave espacial. Okay, now let's do a little bit of practice. Guess who am I? Okay, so you will see some pictures. Van a ver algunas imágenes and some definitions and you're going to tell me what is it, okay? So this one, what is it? What is it? The occupation for this one? An architect. Oh. Engineer. Okay, engineer. No, it's not engineer. Oh my goodness, I forgot how to. Wait a second, wait a second. I don't remember how to come back. But it's not, it's not that one way. Okay. Okay, so this one it's an architect then. Yes, it's an architect. Very good. Okay. What does an ar architect do? Do you remember? Que lo que es un architect? Can you tell me in English, please? What does an architect do? Que hace un architect? He makes design buildings. Ah, uh, design buildings. What else? Check the. Supervised constructions. Ah, uh, supervised construction. I uh, check what else? El plano, check the. Ah, check the plan. uh -huh, the planos. Very good. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Okay, let's see next one. Wait a second. This one. What is it? George. Little. Okay. Um, 
judge, lawyer? Hmm. Es que hay varios que están ahí. Yeah, oh. but... Mm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> lawyer. Sí, porque hay varios. Yeah, we can we have... Well, let's see, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> no, it's not lawyer. Okay, so it's judge then. So, yes, it's judge, okay? So, judge, what do they do? Uh -huh. Volunteers to tell me what is no, it? No, 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 precise no. over a court of law. Uh -huh. Very good. On a court, right? They work in a court. They say the law, right? Very good. Okay, let's go next one. What about this one? What is this? Photographer. Photographer. Yes, very good. What do they do? The photographer, what do, does they do? They do sorry. Take the picture. I take pictures, definitely. Very good. Let's see, photographer. Okay, what about this one? Wood gardener. Wood cutter? No, it's not gardener. Yes, it's a wood cutter. Okay, eso no salía ahí en la en la presentación. Okay, but a wood cutter it cuts trees, right? Basically. Let's see another one. Okay, this one. What is it? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. President. President. Okay, let's see. Yay, very good. It's president. Okay, we. What do they do? <laughs> Wait, uh huh. What that's do they. Huh? Bush. Uh huh, that's George Bush, right? And what do they do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Price, iba a decir, teacher, porque pensé que era un sacerdote judío o algo así. El otro. A priest, no, no. <risa> sí. Pero puede ser un delegate. Ajá, esa persona okay. puede ser un delegate, un delegado de la, del país. Uh -huh. Rabino. Ajá, un rabino, un rabine. 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 Uh -huh. In English, rabine. And then we have uh, priest. And then we have shepherd. Okay. Todos esos son los que, bueno, pero hay más, pero I don't remember the other ones. Oh my goodness. Hello? 